Big breadwinner hog P615 stroke 8, act 1, take 1. Alan. All yours. Hang on for the rest of the stuff, it all goes up together. You here? I had to come. I was. Why? I was worried, so when the others came for the cases. You I... were worried? Yeah, so when. But I've got your luck, Edge. Your luck. Was it all right? <laughs> yeah. Him. That's what all our worry was about. They ought to be here by now. Call them again. There. Yeah. Yes. Late. Lennox followed us here. He wants gold, among other things. So do I. So Lennox must fight if he wants gold. So you're no use here. I'm sorry. So am I. Uncle! Put these on gold after it gets changed. Do you think that's necessary? Yes, Uncle. Yes. What did you tell the law? What do you think? Anyone see you coming here? No. Pity. I was hoping you'd pass Scott Yanks on the way. You want them here? Yeah. You glad you come now? The law knows about him. How? They tapped Lennox's phone. When? You're showing an interest now. If they've tapped Lennox's Don't phone... Don't worry. It's my business now. I'm what? 
free. I didn't come here to be treated like this. You will be. You're my property now. Lennox wants you dead. So badly, if we drag me and spring you for 25% of Scott Yanks. Only it's got easier than that now, for me. Now I get all. 100%. You're my guarantee that Lennox comes personally to me. You young... Did I tell you to speak? You're nothing now. Only bait. Not even a hook. Put it in a corner till Lennox comes. Lennox's phone. The law's got your voice on tape. They played it to me. Did I know your voice? That's and did you? No. And Ackerman? They know about him from the phone. What do they know? Just that he matters to you. Whoever I am. They've only got my voice. Yeah, I told you that. What else? That's it. Just that Ackerman matters to you and Lennox. That he's got information they could use. Only I'm going to use it first, aren't I? But the law is getting closer all the time. So, I move faster. That's the last of Hogarth's men. Get the rest of our people here. No, no, radio silence, or we'll have the police inquiring. Fetch some Greenwood. On foot. Scott Yanks are outside. Good. What's beaten? Good about it. I've got to get out. No, Grange. What are you talking about? No. Lennox comes in. I've got the bait already. And the hook. I'll stop in there. Yes. You better get those off. You don't want to die in army boots, do you? You here? Christ. We need to know how many. Yes. Correct military procedure. Own forces, enemy forces. Always useful to know. Both. Very funny. What's with you? Perhaps I'm happy. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a new feeling. Is it a man of a gun? Me? No. I'm conserving your strength. This is only a recce. No, Raymond can go with him. He could botch it. He's too young. No, he's not. And so what if he does? Some people have become more dispensable than others. Because of her. Your greasy memory. Go and get Izzard. Another job for you, Uncle. Hog job. I'm not finished this job yet. I should learn to delegate responsibility like Lennox, like Hog. I never get anywhere. Chuckle, bloody chuckle. Hogarth's now contained, isolated. We shall give him no longer than it takes for us to deploy ourselves. You three will cover the right-hand arches, you the left. Jimerson, you'll come with Mr. Greenwood and myself. Just how many and where? When Spicer fires the car, you move out on the other side, right? Two minutes from now.
お客さん Get back, son! What happened? Smashed his leg. They're everywhere. You see, I was right not to send you, wasn't I? His name is Izard. Taught Hogarth all he knows. Good. Perhaps we can bargain more discreetly now. Stand him up. I can't! Your agreement is out, or I shall ask my operatives to leave you to stand on your own two feet. It's my knee. I'm not asking you to betray Hogarth. That's not necessary anymore. Merely to speak to him for me. And say what? That he must bargain realistically with me. <laughs> he will never get gold or hog. No. Let him go. <laughs> No. I'll get him. Stay still, Spicer. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Loyalty to an old friend and a sellout of me. He, he taught you everything you know. I knew it all before. I knew it while I watched your face dissolve, Spicer. You don't mean that, Spicer. Hogs your pension, whatever he did to you, you know that. Don't say that to me! You lick what you can off what's left of the lollipop, you know you will now. You weighed the odds just like Izzard did. He could break. Break? Break what? He's got nothing to break. Uncle was with you. No, no, Raymond, you don't get it, do you? Jesus Christ. You're just like Edgeworth. You were one yesterday. Now, Lennox comes to me for his life. He may try to trade, is it? But it won't be for me, nor for gold. But for you, Ackerman. Your opportunity is my opportunity. That's all of Scott Yanks. Yes. Help. Put him down. Ooh. You'll manage the last few yards by yourself. No. Hogarth must see that you're in pain. The bastard! Lennox is only deploying what he's got. Don't we all? Hog! I've got to talk to you, son! So speak! Lennox's offer! It's decent, son, it's fair! It's what we agreed before we sprung ghoul. We go with the Scott Yanks for 25% like before. But it's not before, it's after. If we don't, son, I don't get treatment for my leg. Yeah, that's understood. Yeah. Come on, something else as well. The and, is it? Ah, come on! Everybody's on offer. You too. The alternative is for me. 
That's all, son. Either we agree or they've got the firepower. We? You keep saying we. Yeah. But you're talking for Lennox. For God's sake, he's bleeding. Yeah, that's right. He's talking for his busted leg, not for me. Us, we. What about gold? The gold comes in line once we've agreed. Lennox wants Ackerman, son. How does he want him? Well, that's up to you. Yeah, right, it is. It's all right, you can breathe. It's in my interest. That's no deal he's offering, is it? No deal. Ackerman's my guarantee of my percentage of Scott Yanks. Without him, where's my voting power? Then it says that's your risk, son. You live for risks, he says. Does he? Tell him I get a different boost now. No, son, you still do. No, no. I have it all now. It comes to me. It comes to me because he can't help not. There's no choice. I've got gold. I've got Ackerman. What's Lennox got? You, just you. <laughs> Lennox. Lennox! You dress it up, don't you? Big parade of nothing. You sent Izzard in first, bleeding from his kneecaps. What's that supposed to do? Move me? Impress me? Where's your real screw, Lennox? When I've got all, want all, 100% all. And Ackerman, Ackerman, Lennox, he's not interested in spilling his grief to the law, just in spilling you, Lennox, you. You've got to be realistic, son. Then all around you, you'll never get out. When I've got my lucky mascot with me, tell Lennox that's the only risk I take. I helped you! Of course you did. You knew I was on the up. You fall off lower down. That's progress. You were just a kid. You were just a bright kid. I helped you! He was brash, old brash. We would have to stop you laughing so much. Get back, we're going to shoot first after this. Ackerman, spice and raspberry, get gold up the back way. Is that? You always say we. Always we, always was, always we. But it's not we, not was. It's now, is that now, now, now? I'll be Lennox, Lennox! He said back! Cover me to the car. Then I'll cover you. Spice, me with Raspberry and Gould to the car. Then you and the others to us, right? Now! Where are they? Jesus. Spicer! No! Ambitious? So where were you? Dear mother, all gone, 
This way, sir. Keep your head down. Welcome back, Akama. No sign. This way, my car. Come on. They got gold. Thanks to you. They're clearing. Yeah, so are we. Go on, get out. Thanks, Uncle. You did your rotten best, and it was enough. You two remain here. When the police arrive, we'll use that door. I may well need you before. Mr. Gould and I will be upstairs in the flat. It's more or less geography now. I can't stay here. No, I don't intend that you should. Got a key for these as well? Uh, yes, I think so. It's a standard pattern, aren't they? Yes, in due time. What time? Mine as ever. You think so? When we put the whole company at risk? That public attempt on Hogarth will have the law. Yes, 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 please. I've already predicted to myself everything you can possibly say. You have? Then Moira. Why did she die? An Ackerman. The law questioned me about Ackerman. What's he got on you with a job prepared to risk everything? It'll cost as much as the company's worth to buy silence after tonight. No. I recoup for less than that. They should be in pyjamas, of course, for when they... Yeah. Me! Your arrangements for concealing me! They're almost complete. Sober stripes, I think, don't you, for interviewing the police? Lennox. I protected you from the law. Well, yes, of course. You were waiting to be sprung. Well, then, first things first. Your concealment. I must see. I must know what happens. Or do you want to serve life? We will anyway. Hog will make out. Oh, God. We've got to believe that. We just keep very still while he plays it. How long do we keep still? It's like a trust. As long as necessary. Life! 
pension for the rest of your life. Switzerland, possibly, I thought. But your daughter Moira interrupted my arrangements. Singleton still retired, but not quite as I'd intended. For the sake of the company, let alone myself, Moira had to be killed. You? Not personally. Greenwood's presence of mind. She was in a police car at the time. Greenwood killed her. Him. Downstairs. He displayed exceptional coolness. I never could. No. Me miss it. I could have sold you to the law. I had the opportunity. I should have. Moira warned me. Yes. But you were too confident. Keeping in trim. I was flabby. Yes. You were very determined that last time I visited you in prison. But so was I. But still Ackerman. Yes. Yes, you can console yourself there. A considerable risk is still left for me. Not only Ackerman, but Hogarth as well. So I must clear the desk to cope. Unless it's tidy at each and every stage. I... Yes. Clear it. You're frightened. Stand up. Stand up! I can't stand waiting. You can now. Think of your children. You've got it all. Not until it's tidy. Open the door. How can I? With yourself. It's a jar. In the bathroom. That? Yes. Christ! Spring him to kill him. You thought Mr. Lennox wouldn't? I don't know. I need both of you. Bathroom. the wound. What a talent. 
Yes. We must all be tidy. Yes? We will, Mr. Lennox. Where's Gould? Reply. Dead. Like Moira. It's unavoidable. If the company is to survive... That's for Hogg, not you. One hundred percent? Yes. Do you really want so much responsibility? I'll wear it. It's necessity now. It moulds us all. You? Me? No. No share. I served the company too long. Hogs come for what you've got. I've come for you. A sentimental approach. Yes. It was to have been for me. Then Moira was killed. As you're so ambitious, don't you think that this confrontation at this stage is a little... Uh, you, you've been swayed for too long by this man's too simple view. I agree to use his simplicity. That was our bargain. You talk between sleep and waking, Lennox. You constructed this event. So you must suffer it, endure it. It's logic, your logic. No. You, dying, as personally as I can make it. You held me by the throat for three years. Lennox. <laughs> Killing till now has always been at one remove for you, hasn't it? <laughs> hasn't it, Lennox? Ah, <laughs> oh, shh. You have a whole metropolis of pain to realize yet. No. A whole spinning world of it. Mine, Moira's, now yours, its core, its centre, at last, at last, at last.
Canucks? Move! Cut! Move! I move you! Ah, oh, leave me, leave me! I can't! I'm lost coming! You'll stand up, you'll survive! There's always somebody who up you as much as anybody else! People who are changeable like you notice! <laughs> But you can still speak. The door we came in by, in the roof. Yes? Where's Lennox? Wrong question. Don't fool with me. How is Lennox? Yes. Dead. I killed him. Your name? <laughs> For what's left we of We get me. you to hospital. Your name? Oh, everybody wants to conserve me except me. You too. Oh, no, no, no. Let's spoil the stairs. Ambulance. Meanwhile, your name? Ackerman. Yes. And you worked for Scott Yanks? Oh, for some time. L Lennox wanted complete control. Complete control. I was the instrument. Uh, and? Exactly, I needed. Uh, convulsion with him. Well, Lennox tried to win everything for himself. His partner. His boss. Cool, yes? All expendable. Me too. No. No. Somebody else. Not just you. Not only them. Young, hard, climbing. Who? He's just anybody now. Who is he? Uh, who is he? <coughs> you didn't own that. I'm free of it. Free of all of you. His name! You find him. Why should I earn your pension for you? Nothing holds me. His name! <laughs> your, your eyes. You bloody... romantic! Died on us. I've called this meeting today to discuss and consider in detail all assets and liabilities that I've inherited. Greenwood? The first item on the agenda and your first responsibility, the company's legal investments. There are 18 subsidiary holding companies which we control. Yes. All right. Yes, like you, I'm fine. Good. Yes. Details of the company's investments. May I ask for a breakdown, not this? Yes, the brokers apologise, but they're up to here with work. Are they up to here? I pay them and they apologise. All right. Fine. Who looked after this portfolio in Scott Yanks? Uh, Mr Lennox himself, with advice from the brokers. Yes, yes, of course. It's too hot in here. That's the recommended temperature. For what? For what is this the recommended temperature, Spicer? Normal office work. 
We have a very full agenda, Hogue. Hogarth? Mr. Hogarth. Next. Um, personnel, this is a complete file of all your employees. No. They're your concern. You want to stand up? You work. Yes, we work. That's right. Keep quite still. Don't move a muscle. Providing we maintain our pressure on all employees. And our expenses on silence so far. They're um, all there. More paper. All on paper. Uh, protection services. Yes, yes. Now, I've been thinking about this. This area that I've inherited will be referred to in the future as insurance, or if you prefer, indemnity. You reserve your opinion. You sit there watching and waiting. You want to sell me, don't you? I need to see your eyes. They're dead. They say nothing. Do my eyes say nothing? Do they tell me? Perhaps you'd rather we adjourn until No, tomorrow. we continue this meeting. This assessment of myself. Next. Detective Chief Superintendent Nicholson. Again. Do you think I should see him? Uh, no, this time I will, if you prefer. But I do not prefer. Tell him to wait a minute. Mr. Hogarth will be free in a minute. That's one way of putting it. Call our solicitors. Now, you mustn't fret, Greenwood. This isn't your moment to sell me. There. Show him in. I'd like you to stay, please, Miss Edgeworth. You may put the phone down, Mr. Spicer. Another courtesy call, Superintendent. I always try to be courteous. Despite Ryan's death, Gizzard's death, mm. he could have helped us there with Ryan. Despite Gould's death. Is this of interest to me? I don't know. I truly don't know. We've identified Gould's body. And you've come for encouragement? No. Well, we must all keep at it, Superintendent. Only you've forgotten one thing. Luck. We construct our luck with work. Yes. So do I now. Yes. We've been working on the debris you left behind after springing Gould. Tell me, what were you feeling when you watched Ackerman strangle Lennox? Yes, work. I'm afraid you haven't worked quite hard enough. You wore this when you sprang Gould. A mask says nothing of who wears it. Forensic, don't agree. You keep quite still! Don't you move a muscle. Me, not you. My right. How do you see me, Superintendent? Like this or like that? Like that. You've made up your small, safe mind, haven't you? Why bother to choose between what he is and what he does? Not your job too difficult. So to you, I'm like that. Only I'm not. To me, I'm me. I must caution you. Why? Please. You're like them. Say yes, say no quietly. Otherwise, they'll hear us breathe. For your own sake, I... But you want me foolish. Careless. The law allows you protection against yourself. <laughs> <laughs> protection? Don't you mean insurance? Now, be careful. Otherwise, you may discover who you really are. Which am I wearing? You say that one. 
because it's ugly, clearly ugly. And nobody minds draining a life out of what's ugly. Which do you see? Neither. Too difficult to choose. So you shut your eyes. Pigs are bled so their flesh is clean to eat, drop by drop. Never mind the hurt, they're ugly. We've decided that by ourselves, so that we stay clean. How long will you bleed me? Thirty years, and you'll get a promotion. I shall require a more ordered statement. Yes, times, places, persons, drop by drop. <laughs>